Hey chemists, so this is hopefully a quick uh, video on Robert Frost, just a very brief biography of this famous American poet. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is because we're actually going to be studying one of his poems that has a, some pretty major connections to the history of atomic models. And so Robert Frost was known as a pastoral poet. He wrote a lot about nature. Uh, he was alive from 1874 to 1963, and uh, he was born in San Francisco, California, March 26th, 1874. So that top picture there is San Francisco with the Golden Gate Bridge. He left California at age 11 after his father's death. While his family moved to Massachusetts. He was valedictorian of his high school, Lawrence High School in Massachusetts, which is the red pin on the Google map there on the bottom right corner. The other two towns there, um, he farmed and taught high school in Derry, New Hampshire. And Franconia is a town that'll come up a little bit later in his biography. Um, his early writing, when he started to write, he actually uh, uprooted the family. He was about 38 years old in 1912. He sold the farm in Derry, New Hampshire and moved to England. Uh, when he was in England, he proceeded to publish two collections of poetry, A Boy's Will in 1913 and North of Boston in 1914. And then in 1915, he returned to the United States to Franconia, New Hampshire, which again is pretty much just north there of Derry and of Lawrence, Massachusetts as well. He, uh, he has several major works, not just poems. He's also written plays. Here's a list of his major works of poetry. And he has a collection that was published, uh, the, his complete poetry published in 1969 after his death. There are some newer versions of that that have been edited and annotated with commentary on his poems. He was very interested in science. He was an avid reader of Scientific American. He lectured at Amherst College. And when he was lecturing at Amherst College, uh, this was uh, after he came back from England, he heard two lectures given by Niels Bohr in 1923 of fame with atomic models. And those two lectures given by Niels Bohr were on atomic structure and quantum theories. And so this is a more recent cover of Scientific American that's here. Uh, maybe you've seen pictures of this kind of magazine somewhere, or maybe you've seen it on newsstands or in the store. And in his later years, uh, he was the inaugural poet for JFK's 1961 inauguration. He has been quoted as saying his goal in life was to write a few poems that will be hard to get rid of. His memorable and powerful poems are his mark on the world. And he died January 29th, 1963 in Boston. And at the bottom there are three pictures of him uh, from different points in his life. And uh, illustration of what an atom would look like there at the bottom because we're learning a little bit about Frost as we get ready to analyze one of his poems. So if you are trying to prepare a little bit for class tomorrow, you may want to go back over any notes that you have from your English classes on poems and literary devices, things like similes and metaphors. We're going to be starting off with those in class and uh, then getting in and jumping in and analyzing one of his poems and then you'll be writing some of your own. So I hope this helps you learn a little bit more about Robert Frost and his life.